The 352 is once again the capital of the college football world. Happy Friday to you guys. Lauren Jadi here bringing you your daily sports update presented by Toyota. The Florida Gators are BCS national champions for the second time in the last three seasons. The much anticipated high scoring showdown between the Heisman Trophy winning quarterbacks never really happened, but Florida was able to outlast the Sooners to claim their third national championship in school history. Check it out. 24-14 is your final. Tim Tebow accounting for 340 total yards and two touchdowns. He did have two interceptions, as many as he had all season long. Percy Harvin had 122 yards on the ground. One touchdown, the Gators racked up 480 total yards of offense, including 249 yards rushing. 2008 Heisman Trophy winner Sam Bradford threw for 256 yards and two touchdowns, two interceptions, including one at the end of the first half to cost the Sooners at least three points. So, the big picture, the SEC is now 5-0 all-time in BCS national title games. The Gators finished number one in the final AP poll, followed by an undefeated Utah team at number two, USC, Texas, and Oklahoma rounding out the top five. Well, college is so yesterday for Beanie Wells. The Ohio State running back will forego his senior season, enter the NFL draft. In three seasons in Columbus, Wells rushed for 3,382 yards, fourth best in school history. Staying in the Big Ten, Wisconsin junior running back P.J. Hill will be joining Wells in the draft. Hill rushed for 1,161 yards, 13 touchdowns for the Badgers. And former Miami quarterback Robert Marr will now be allowed to transfer to two schools in Florida. USF and UCF. Marv announced on December 30th that he would be leaving the U after starting 11 games this season. Well, it didn't take long for Eric Mangini to find another head coaching job. Mangini was introduced as the new Browns coach on Thursday after signing a four-year contract. Mangini returns to his roots. He was a Cleveland Browns ball boy in his early 20s, probably a little bit different. Mangini was fired from the Jets after collapsing down the stretch and missing the playoffs. I bet you want to know what the 411 is on Mangini's former quarterback, Brett Favre. Well, he is not ruling out a return for the 2009 season, but he does not plan to make a decision for several weeks. Favre stated, I don't feel I have anything else to prove. Do I have to redeem myself for the last five games? No. I could be trying to do that until I'm 60 years old. There's nothing left out there for me from that standpoint. I'm disappointed with the last five games, sure, but I know I did everything I could have. From one great red right arm to another, John Smoltz is leaving the ATL after 21 seasons for one last shot at a World Series championship with Boston. Smoltz has reached a preliminary agreement on a one-year, $5 million contract. The 41-year-old season was cut short after only six appearances in 2008 due to shoulder pain. He has a career record of 210 and 147 to go along with 154 saves. Well, the Red Sox aren't done after missing out on top free agent Mark Teixeira. They've added former Tampa Bay outfielder Rocco Baldelli and former L.A. Dodgers righty Brad Penny. Baldelli played in only 28 games last year after being diagnosed with a mitochondrial disorder that causes chronic muscle fatigue. But he hurt the Sox when he helped the Rays knock off Boston en route to the World Series. Well, moving to the NL, Major League Baseball's all-time saves leader has found a new home. Trevor Hoffman agreed to a one-year, $6 million contract with the Brew Crew on Thursday. Hoffman looks to bolster a Milwaukee bullpen that struggled last year. The 41-year-old right-hander had pitched for the Padres since 1993, becoming the face of the franchise after Tony Gwynn retired. Hoffman converted 30 of 34 chances last season, increasing his saves record to 554. It is the weekend. Get out of here. Enjoy it. But come back and see me next week. Can't wait.